up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, holy crap, we went through a mission and a half. We, are, like, I'm not going to lie guys, it literally took me like about an hour and a half to finish that whole uh, episode. Going back and forth, recharging, and all that stuff, really, what were the creators thinking? And yes... It says it right here, and I just said it, yeah, this is the final episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Now, let me give you a good reason to why this is the last episode. So, yeah, I did a little bit of research after, you know, playing or recording a, the, the, the last few episodes. And I, I noticed that, yeah, there is another city out there, but it is not complete. There is only one more major battle, and that is the gym leader we have yet to battle. And... I get that, that you can actually capture the extra legendary Pokemon out there. You can do gym leader rematches and all that stuff, but I have no interest in doing that. I know, I know, but this is the first time I'm playing Liquid Crystal, and I kind of feel like, you know, it's run its course. So, this episode right here is going to be me battling the gym leader one last time, and yeah, we're going to call it a game right there, guys, because it has been a, an adventure and a half. Trust me. It is. So, let's go right ahead and go to the specific city that we need to go to in order to get to the to the final badge right here. I, 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 I really don't care right now. So, Sandaway Town, I think that's what it is. So, let's speed through that. And, is it Sandaway Town? No, this is the place where we destroyed a few, uh, a few uh, uh, satellites and all that stuff. So, let's go, let's see. Nexus Laboratory. Oh, Safari Town. Okay, so it turns out that we were in the we were in the right place. Okay, so as you can see, this is Safari Town, and the last place you need to go to is the Safari Zone. And the only way you can go through there is you have to actually battle the gym leader somewhere. And I'm gonna try and find the gym battle or the gym that, that he's located at. Now, uh, let's see. I do believe that you know you guys. I do believe that we, we watched a specific episode for that, uh, back when it, you know, the Orange Island Leagues and all that stuff, uh, when Ash went and battled some dude that made him do a toboggan and all that stuff. Again, I'm ranting, ranting about it and all that stuff, and let's see, I don't even know if it's right here, hold on. Welcome to the Water Safari Zone, actually, no, I don't want to do that, okay, so where in the heck is the the gym? Okay, so I think I... Okay, hold on. I think I know where it's at. Again, guys, first time playing this game, I was excited just because it was like, uh, you know, it's a hack game. I've been bragging about playing a hack game for quite some time, and I never got around to doing so, to doing it. And then when the time came, you know, thanks to this whole pandemic thing, it just, you know, I, I went, I went uh, you know, face first. However, or foot first, or whatever, not knowing what to expect and all that stuff. And trust me, I did not expect all this, uh, or I did not expect everything, you know, all of this, you know, the expansion, uh, the trainers, the leveling up, the legendary Pokemon, the new Pokemon uh, criminal groups, those things. I did not expect any of that stuff. And yeah, trust me, guys, I have been humbled just because of, uh, you know, I was a big proponent to to mixing up Pokemon gyms, or no, no, not Pokemon gyms, but Pokemon regions, kind of like they did in Pokemon uh, in the in the in second generation, where they put both Kanto and Johto. I kind of wanted to see a game where they had like at least four regions put together, but this right here just gave me a greater like a, a better view of what would happen if you actually put at least four of those uh four of those regions together it just it's long it's 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 annoying you really have to put your whole focus into it and it's just it's just wow now with a bit of organization i think yeah i think it would be better but it, it, trust me guys it's long and i i don't think many people like long games they like a nice steady game just like in the old pokemon game so I think this is the gym that we need to go to. Uh, Danny, yes, okay, so the relationship guru. Let's go right here, talk to this guy. And he's like, hi there, kid. I'm Danny, the gym leader of the Sandway Town. What are you doing in a place like this? I see, so you think you have what it takes to challenge me in a gym battle. Sorry, but I don't think you have. You won't give up until you have my badge. 
I don't like the dedication. What's your name? Draven? Okay then. You can challenge me for uh, you can challenge me to a gym battle on one condition. You have to complete a series of tests set by me. The first test, you have to qualify to be a challenger by meeting me at the top of Safari Town Mountain Zone. If you can make it through the zone without battling your Pokemon, you'll go on to the next challenge. So then, let the challenge begin. I'll see you at the Mountain uh, Safari Zone, Draven. Okay, so... That's kind of impossible right there. All we need to do now is just uh, fly straight up to, to the place that we need to go to. Now, again, like I said, if you guys remember this guy, he's the one that actually challenges uh, Ash after, you know, those the B BB challenges and all that stuff. Now, there is a little something that I need to do. Let's see, who here knows Rock Smash? Okay, Thrasher does. So we made it all the way to the mountainous area right here. I think this is the place. And welcome to the Mountain Safari Zone for just 500, yes. Okay, so we do have a few steps. And okay, so we're not going to be battling any of our Pokemon right here now. I wonder if I do have any kind of repels. Okay, so I have a lot of repels right here. And all we need to do now is find Danny right here, and then he'll give us the next task, which whatever it would be. Uh, let's see, going straight up here. Let's see, where the hell are you, Danny? better not waste all my steps here. Okay, so... Press my button right there. And... There he is. Okay, so... Alrighty, Danny. What else do you have to say? Congratulations, Draven. You made it to the top of the mountain zone. Because of this is the... Or because this is the Safari Zone, you were unable to use the force of your Pokemon in battle. Well then, I guess it's time to move on to the next challenge. We need to somehow get down from the... From this mountain, so I prepared some materials for you to find to build a toboggan with. There, are, there's four sticks, one silk scarf, and a one metal coat. Once you find them, return to me, and then we can move on to the next challenge. So, here's another thing too. You may have like we've already gotten metal coats, silk scarfs, and I believe sticks. Those do not count. You actually have to get the pokeballs that are in here. So, let's go right ahead and. Uh, take care of that business now if you do run out of a uh, if you do run out of steps do not worry guys it will not reset or anything like that uh, it just you know you're, you're just gonna have to pay an extra 500 just to get back and you know get back to whatever it is that you need to do and that is get all these items and stuff so let's go right ahead and grab that another stick that's uh, how many sticks did he say we have we have to get two three four I don't even know I really don't know I'm just like really tired of this game already. So there we go, we got a Sil Scarf. Of course he misspelled Sil, Sil Scarf. And here we go, a stick again. I think that's three sticks. Okay, five sticks. And speed button away. You guys gotta love that speed button that I've been using. Okay, so found Sil we found a few sticks. And well, now we gotta find the metal coat, so it looks like to us, it looks like to us that, you know, uh, we will be running out of time by the time we get the, by, yeah, by the time we get the other, the other stuff, so that's no worries. Like I said, it will not reset by the time, or, you know, I keep on saying time, whatever, I keep on repeating shit. Uh, let's see, where does this, oh wow, totally missed that by a freaking mile. Alrighty, so let's go right here, as as you guys probably already noticed, I'm a little bit more better, a little like I think I'm a little bit more in better spirits right now because when I recorded the last few episodes, it was going into like two o'clock in the morning, and trust me, guys, I was a little irritated with like the continuation. It just continued, continued. It it got like it got in my oh damn, the hell, the hell. Oh yeah, we can't go through there. Yeah, the game was getting on my nerves, and I just wanted it to end. I get it, and I'm I'm, I'm sorry if you know if that right there kind of kind of uh, messed it up for you guys or whatever. But you know sometimes when the game goes a little longer than expected, holy crap! And yes, we're gonna be battling a Pokemon trainer right here, or Pokemon. And yeah, we're gonna be running out of steps pretty soon here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna get whatever what I can get. Let's see. Why can't I go through here? I don't know. Steps. And let's grab that. We found ourselves an ice heal. God dang it. Okay, so we're just gonna run out of steps right now. I really don't care. So let's see. Ah, uh, correct. Okay, so there it is. Ding dong. Okay, so that's one down. Let's do this again. Press that button. Okay, and we're back at it again. So yeah, guys, uh, again, sorry if my mood kind of changed your guys' mood or something like that. I mean, the game went on longer than I expected. Trust me, first time I've ever played it, and then when it started getting a little harder, I started doing more research, and it just, like, you know, it just started to give me a huge headache. Huge, huge headache of, like, how long this was going to take. I thought this was going to be, like, easy-peasy lemon squeezies a quick. And here's an energy powder. Is that all of them? I, I, I don't think we got all of it. Let's see, hold on. Oh, nope, there's another item. So yeah, guys, uh, let's see, what else do I have to talk about right here? So, while I'm at it, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are wondering if I'm going to be playing another hack game anytime soon. Uh, the answer is no, not right now. Not right now, because, well, things are picking up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit at work. And that, if you guys already know, there we go, we found ourselves TM45 Attract. If you guys don't know, I'm also a personal trainer, partial owner to a gym, and as many of you guys would want to know, it, that you know, I also like making money, so I gotta pay, I gotta give a little more attention to my work right now. Well, give it a little more that way I could save up a little more, just in case this whole pandemic just starts, you know, screwing us over again. And okay, so congratulations again, Draven. You were able to find all the materials for the next challenge. Now it's time to build your toboggan. For this, you need to have a strong bond with your Pokemon. Please choose three Pokemon to help you build a toboggan. Alright, three Pokemon. Of course, Godzilla. He's like, Charizard? I'm not sure, but you seem, you seem to really like your Charizard. I've decided I'll be picking your Charizard for you. Okay, now choose your second Pokemon. Uh, Erwin, of course. Alright, now choose your third Pokemon right here, and third Pokemon right here is going to be Latios, because this Pokemon has got me out of everything. Now we're building that Toboggan, and there, there, wasn't that a great way to bond with your Pokemon? You built your Toboggan, or yourself a Toboggan! Now then, let's move on to the next final challenge. For the final challenge, we're going to have a race down the mountain in our Toboggan. If you can beat me to the bottom, I'll allow you to challenge me to a gym battle for my badge. The key to winning this race is the bond between you and your Pokemon. If you have a strong, if you guys have strong bonds, you will be able to. Uh, you have a chance of winning. And ready, ready, Draven. Three, two, one, go! Look at that! And bam! Just like that, I defeated him. Danny's like, I lost. That was a fantastic race, Draven. You really showed me how strong people's bonds with their Pokemon can become. Your Charizard was outstanding. I knew there was something about it when I first saw it. I must, I must, or it must love you very much. Congratulations for beating me. I'll be waiting for you at the Sanway Town Gym. Alrighty. So it's finally time to get to our final gym battle right here, guys. And uh, trust me, I've, I've been looking forward to this for like quite some time. And, uh, well, time to get the heck out of here. Don't need to stay here very long. I, yeah, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> you don't know how relieved I am, guys, that this, this is, this is the final episode. You don't know how, how, how I've been feeling about this. So here we are back in Sandway Town, and well, I gotta prepare for this guy. I can't remember what kind, of, what kind of Pokemon he had. Not a train, or he's not a type specific, uh, or type specific gym. But I'm pretty sure he's going to be pretty, uh, pretty strong. So here we go. Welcome back, Draven. After our victory, I got think, I got thinking about my own bonds with my Pokemon. I came to a conclusion that beating you will give me the information I need. Prepare yourself. I won't go easy on you. And here it is, guys. The final gym battle, and it's going to be against gym leader Danny. And he does have six Pokemon right here. 
and of course they are at level 90 now remember guys for a nice minute ever since you got into this island right here uh, you couldn't level up any of your Pokemon so you bet you best best have your Pokemon uh, leveled up for this special occasion right here because he will he will try and mess you up and as you can see Needle Queen is tightening her focus so here we go with the Luster Purge time to eat this yeah buddy come on go down finish him or her I mean and look at that Needle Queen has been destroyed and here he comes out with a Scyther, so let's go straight to our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla, making his final appearance here on Pokemon Liquid Crystal, right here on Kids WB. And this guy has it at level 90, so let's go with the Flamethrower attack. Yeah! Time to eat this Flamethrower. This Scyther has nothing. Oh yes. And, as you probably already noticed, I'm not, I'm not speed buttoning this. I gotta cherish this one. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and stay with Godzilla Godzilla. He needs uh, more more victories. Level 91. So let's go straight to a wing attack. And his Machamp survives. And here he goes with the Rock Slide attack. Oh my god. 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 And oh, crap baskets. There goes Godzilla. Okay. So, let's go with Latios again. Alright, Latios, do your thing. You guys remember how I caught Latios? Surprise. Very, very surprising. In fact, I was truly invested. Like, the mission to get Latios got me really invested into this game. And, uh, you know, it, it, got, it got me thinking that, man, these guys really put a lot of effort into doing this game right here. By including, you know, a few new teams, uh, plots, and everything. And it was just, you know, it really got me invested. And, you know, all I can say is that, you know, I'm pretty happy that, you know, I actually got to play this game and all that stuff. So, there goes an explosion attack. And, uh, yeah, nothing. Thrasher survives. And he's going to be coming out with a clay doll right here. So, let's go straight to Erwin in his final appearance right here. Erwin did its job. I am so proud of you, Erwin. Alrighty, so level 91. And here we go. Waterfall. Don't go chasing those waterfalls. Oh, uh, yes. Come on. All the way down. And there you go. Clay Doll has been messed up. Fuck yeah. Alrighty. And he's going to be coming out with one more Pokemon, and that is Golem. Alrighty. Time to finish this guy off. Golem, say goodbye. Oh yeah, look at that. No more Golem. So happy. Yeah, buddy. And Danny has been defeated. Outstanding, simply amazing. After battling you, it's become clear to me what I'm lacking. I don't know. Probably a proper picture or something, I don't know. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves the Sea Ruby Badge. Final badge here in all of uh, Pokemon Liquid Crystal. This battle has shown me instead of worrying about other trainers' bonds, I need to strengthen and deepen my own bonds with my Pokemon. The Sea Ruby Badge is the second of the official Orange League Gym Badges. You did exceptionally well to earn this. I expect you'll do fine with the uh, remaining gy uh, Orange Gym Leaders. Good luck, Draven. Alrighty, so as you guys probably already know, like right there. He did say that there are two more gym battles, gym leaders, and well, here's Professor Oak telling me, Hello, Draven, it's Professor Oak. How are you doing in the Orange Islands? I just heard you got your second league badge. Sounds to me like you're doing just fine, so there's a chance you can visit me at my lab sometime. I need to speak to you about that mysterious GS ball. See you soon, Draven. Well, it looks like we got one final mission right here. And I think we're going to be taking care of that because uh, it involves a specific Pokemon that, you know, we kind of uh, we kind of need to check out. So, yes, guys, this final episode right here is going to include a legendary battle of great proportions and all that stuff. And because of that, I am going to need a Pokemon that... I'm going to need a Pokemon that uh, is within the level. So, let's see... Who is a proper Pokemon that I could use? Of course, all my Pokemon are like, 
leveled up like crazy just because I kind of wanted to be great. So here's Aaliyah. All right, so I'm going to be using Aaliyah. And let's see, I got I to gotta check out what Aaliyah has for, uh, you know, for its attacks right here. And yes, it does have a good move set right here, which I'm going to be using. Okay, so what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be going straight to Professor Oak's uh, lab, and he's going to be talking about the GS ball. As many of you guys already know, in the actual anime, Ash went to, what was it, uh, Cherry Grove Town, I think. No, 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 I lie, I lie. Uh, fuck, fuck. Cherry Grove. Completely forgot the, the name of the, the town, but the town where Bugsy's at. Gave the GS ball to Kurt, and it was never dealt with ever again. Now, behind the scenes, they were going to make that into a Celebi kind of, uh, a Celebi-esque kind of S uh, episode. They never got around to it. They never even made a movie about it. So... In this game right here, we're going to be covering all that stuff. Uh, if you guys don't know, in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, there is an event where you can actually go up against Celebi. That's included right here in Liquid Crystal. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to be flying all the way to... Wait, how do we get to Kanto again? Completely forgot. Yeah, we're going to be going back to Professor Oak's lab right here. Now, let's see. What was I saying beforehand? Let's see. Uh, yeah. So, there are two more gym leaders, and unfortunately, uh, this game was never really completed. It wasn't. Uh, that was it. That's the final gym leader, and uh, the next place... can't remember what it was, but the next, uh, next area, it, the whole area hasn't been completed. Uh, I, I think Team... What, whatchamacallit, Team whatever... Uh, Team Nexus, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Team Nexus is over there, but there's really nothing else that you can do. And I guess, uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess that's the end of it. And that's why I told you guys that, you know, after that, you can actually battle the, re-battle the gym leaders from Kanto and Johto, I believe. Get some legendary Pokemon, and that is pretty much it. And I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I did get the expansion of this, or the expansion version of this whole thing and I'm, I'm, I'm right about it but since we have since there's just one gym leader left there's no need for me to go back to you know go to the next town or whatever if you guys want to know what it looks like you can find it on YouTube trust me I know I'm being lazy or something like that but this game has got to finish it's 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 done it's over my birthday's coming up I need this done all right so here we are at Route 100, and, well, okay, so we did have a nice ride. Let's get the F out of here. How do I get out of here? Okay, so Route 100, I was so surprised when I first got here. Thought that I could actually go there real quickly, so let's go to Pallet Town. And... Let's go ahead and visit Professor Oak one last time and see what the old man has got for us. And here he is. Ah, Draven, good for you to or good of you to stop by. Let's get right to it, shall we? The GS ball you give to me from uh, Professor Ivy, I've been unable to uncover any new data about the ball. It just seems to not want to do anything special. I'd like you to return the ball to, or I'd like to return the ball to you and ask that you deliver it to Kurt in Azalea Town. That's what it was called. See, you see, I'm about to turn 30, guys, and I'm already forgetting stuff. God dang. And in Johto, he's an expert in Pokeballs, so if anyone would know about the GS ball, it would be Kurt. And here we go, got ourselves the GS ball. And thanks, Draven. I trust that you will be able to handle this task. So the Orange League, or the Orange League, is going well here. Do stop by another time. The amount of progress in your Pokédex has been made, and yes, he doesn't care. That's cool. Yes. And okay, so that's pretty much it right there. And now we're going to be going straight to Azalea Town, the place that I forgot because you know I'm turning 30 on July 11th. Yep, good old Draven's finally crossing that, uh, he's finally crossing that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, that age right there, that everybody fears. Alright, let's talk to this guy, tell him you're home, there we go, Newbark Town, hello, hello, okay, so, 
Now let's go ahead and fly back to Azalea Town. Of course, I'm playing Pokemon Heart Gold. And, yeah, how could I forget that stuff? Alright, so here we are, Azalea Town. Place we've never forgotten. And we're going to be talking to this guy right here. What, what is that? I've never seen that one like, or I've never seen one before. It looks like, a, or it looks lo a lot like a Pokeball, but it appears to be something else. Let me check it for you. Hmm. And he's checking it. It will take a while to get at this ball. You should come back later. Okay, so we gotta have to step out and then step back in, I guess. I, I, I don't know. All right, so let's see. Take a while to look at this ball. It's, okay, so what, what do we have to do? Okay, so let's see. What's gonna happen? I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm just going into the Ilex Forest for no reason whatsoever, guys. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, let's see, hold on just a sec, hold on just a sec, repels all the way, and I need a Pokemon that knows how to cut. Let's see, TM case, cut, and you know what, let's give it a Thrasher right here since really I'm not going to be using them anymore. Uh, Dublik Kick. Okay, alrighty, so that's that. Actually, hold on. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so let's go with Aaliyah. Cut that. And touch that. It's an honor protector. Nothing. Okay, so, uh, let's see, let's see. What needs to happen? I wonder, okay, so there, there needs, there's something that needs to happen in order for this to happen. Yeah, to go, so let's see. Draven, this ball started to shake while I was checking it. There must be something to do, uh, something to, to do, or to do this, I don't know. I don't know. And he stepped outside. I get to help Grandpa now. We'll make balls for you. Okay, so that is that, and... Oh, damn. Alex Forrest is restless. What is going on? Draven! Here's your GS ball back. Could you go see why Ilex Forest is so restless? Alrighty, so we got the GS ball back. And normally you would see the tree shake. We will eventually see that in Pokemon Heart Gold. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. It is raining in here. Everybody's... Oh, wow, there's people in here. And, well, I'm going to save this game just for this reason because... I don't want to miss out on a good Pokemon, so cut this thing right here. Let's go Thrasher. And the Alex Forest Shrine. It's in honor of the Protector Shrine. Oh, what's this? It's a hole. It looks like the GS ball could fit inside of it. Want to put it in there? Yes, I do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The hell? Oh, damn. It's Celebi. So here we go guys, Celebi has appeared, and it is at level 30. Like I said guys, the events from Pokemon Crystal, it's going to be right here, automatically. So I'm going to try and, uh, yeah, capture this Pokemon right here, make it faint, or something like that. I got to capture this guy, and what is it doing? What the hell is it doing? Oh shoot, it had a Lumberry all this time, oh wow, okay. Alright, let's go, Thunder Wave. Let's go again, Thunder Wave, Heal Bell. Oh yeah, this Pokemon's making it hard for me to just capture and... Come on, Thunder Wave, come on. There we go, Thunder Wave. And we took a future side attack. Okay, so let's go with Slam. Let's go again. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, so here we go. Slam attack, miss. Slam, 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 Slam. Ah, damn it. Okay, so come on. Heal Bell. Come on! And here's an Ancient Power. Oh, wow, it's already healed? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so... I did my part right there, so let's go with Sparky right here. And let's go ahead and try and camp to this Pokemon. As you can see, I got plenty of Pokeballs, so... Ultra Balls, let's go! And there it is, throwing at the peace sign! Suck it, LB. Alrighty, look at that! Celebi, the time travel Pokemon. Two feet, 
11 pounds. When Celebi disappears deep into the forest, it is said to leave behind an egg it brought from the future. Really? And no, I will not give it a nickname, and it will be placed into the box. Okay. So that's pretty much it right there, and that's it, and everybody has disappeared right there. So, look at that, guys. We've completed the tasks at hand, and I am uh, really happy. Really, really happy. Now, you know, I'm just going to talk a little bit right now. Just to give you guys a little bit of an insight of what's going on. So, yeah, my birthday's coming up on July 11th, and yeah, turning 30, finally crossing that thing, and you know, I've been on YouTube for about 10 years already. Well, it's gonna be 10 years, and you know something? It's been it's been a fun ride ups and downs and all that stuff and I'm actually very very happy how things went the decisions I made after Draven XC711 and that's why on my birthday too that happens to be the well kind of like an anniversary for the name Gym Leader Draven because if you guys remember I had a different channel I made a new channel and all that stuff and I you know I kind of abandoned this channel before I came back to it because somebody had to be a dick and delete my stuff and, uh, well, you know, it, you know, it, it brought out the best in me, especially now that, you know, things are going really, really well with my channel. Uh, I made more walkthroughs. Uh, I, I met, I managed to finally get a hack game out there, and which was this. And right now, like I said, you know, I, I have no plans for other hack games. But if you guys have a suggestion for any other hack games, please go ahead and just comment down below. Comment down below, and I will take them into consideration. I will, this time around, I will actually study them. I didn't study this one. I actually thought that, you know, I had the knowledge for this, but I was, yeah, it proved me wrong. And, uh, yeah, I know that this, it's a little premature for me to finish this game, but, you know, like I said, it's, it, you know, it's run its course. It really has. And, uh, you know, you know, with that being said, I'm closing the book on this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and everything that it came with it, including the speed button and all that stuff. Hope it, I hope it was a little more informative than, you know, most. I don't know. Probably isn't. I don't even know that, but... Yeah. It's been a fun ride right here for Pokemon Liquid Crystal, guys. And, uh, you know, uh, even though it has been frustrating at times, it has been fun. It got me invested. Uh, if you guys want a little bit of a review, quick review, I can say this. It was fun. It, there were it, it picked it, it picked its spots where it kept me uh, it kept me you know invested uh, twists turns and all that stuff god dang it was a lot of twists and turns uh, but overall it was a little too long for my liking because it, trust me guys I wanted to complete this within a month but couldn't do that I think I started this two months ago and stuff and uh, yeah. Yeah, like, I really wish they would have, like, actually completed the whole Orange Islands and then have us go on to face the eventual league champion, which was Drake, or whatever his name was. And, yeah, so it was pretty fun. Very, very fun. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it what I have to say for this game right here. I mean, there really isn't anything else I need to say. Uh, so, let's see. What else do I need to cover right here? I don't even know. Yeah, it's been fun, guys. Uh, okay, so, one thing's for sure. On my birthday, I will be having a marathon, and I've already made up my mind that it will be Pokemon X. So be sure to check that out. Five episodes of Pokemon X. Uh, many of you guys already know. I am going to choose the team my t myself. I think we made an exchange for that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Just... Uh, just be aware of all that stuff too. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my community board, I finally got myself the Nintendo Switch and I got myself Pokemon Sword. So there's a lot of material coming, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for making this uh, walkthrough very, very entertaining. And I guess uh, I don't know, I don't know what else. But yeah, thank you, thank you guys again for supporting this walkthrough. I will see you guys in another walkthrough. Uh, Heart Gold, Omega Ruby black we're still gonna finish those guys yes i will see you guys next time
Thank <laughs> you.